you guys, I got a lot of feedback last time I used this waver slash crimper, whatever you want to call it. So it's a little bit bigger than a typical crimper would be, um, but you guys really loved it and I want to show you how quick and easy it is to do. So I've already blow dried my hair. Um, I used the Olaplex number no. 6, the Bond sealer, um, when I got out of the shower and I mixed it with Kevin Murphy's Young Again Serum. I just put like half and half, about a quarter size of each, um, which sounds like a lot, but I have a lot of hair. Put it on, blow my hair dry, so it's already prepped dry, but now that it is dry, I'm going to put some more Kevin Murphy um, oil serum in it just to help protect against the heat. Any type of heat is going to remove moisture and this is just going to put the moisture back into it. So again, mix shot to ends. Um, I put about three squirts in my hand and I'm just going to pull it all the way through. And then whatever is the residual that's left over, I just take it and put it like right like on my baby hairs and just a little bit up top. Now I have two clips um, because I do have a good amount of hair. Um, I also do have extensions in, so it is also creating more volume and more length than my typical hair would have. And I'm just putting half of it up and then I will take the actual size of the section that I'm going to crimp up. All right, so I have a one inch carbon comb. A carbon comb is important because it doesn't melt. So I get about a two inch section of hair. When grabbing a section of hair, make sure it's no bigger than the size of the waver. Of course, you can always go smaller, but just don't go bigger. When moving on to the next section, place the barrel into the wave that you just created. So with each press of the waver, I'm waiting about four seconds before moving on. When I get to the ends of my hair, I'm only doing it for just a second because your ends are already so fine and fragile, they don't need the amount of heat that your roots or your mid shaft would need. The closer you get to the scalp, the more volume you'll receive. So I don't apply hairspray as I go because my hair holds the style pretty well, but if you do use hairspray because you know that your hair doesn't hold curl or crimps very well, make sure that that section of hair has dried from the hairspray prior to applying the heat so you don't burn your hair. So for this waver, I keep it on high heat because I have a ton of hair and it's pretty coarse. But if your hair is fine or damaged, then I would definitely turn it down. So after you've made your first crimp towards your roots, I'm not pulling my hair super tight to the next one. I'm going ahead and releasing some tension. Therefore, when it's cooling down, you're letting it cool down in the wave form and you're not pulling it straight. At that point, I'm moving on to the next section. I'm placing the barrel into the wave that I just created. So the front section of my hair, I like it to fall in my face and I also don't want it to be super wavy. So with each press, I'm only holding it about two seconds as opposed to four. So here we are, here's my finished product. Um, here's my mermaid hair that I did with the crimper, waver, however you want to say it. That brand is a bedhead. I will go ahead and link that for you. But let me know what you think about the tutorial. Did I do a good job explaining it? Do you have more questions? Any feedback is appreciated. Hope you enjoyed.